Now let's go to him. In the name of Jesus. Now we have gone to this one. Eh? And is, I, th I think he might be born in December, not so. Eh? Yes? Yes, glory to God. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. She come, Rodi, Madame Silam Renama. Shalam Rasalaba Colom Resilama. It's like he wants to take off. Eh? Anyway. Thank you, Jesus. She come, Rodi, Madame. The Spirit of God says, I see around computers, but then the Spirit of God says, You are called into a place of leadership. I see you being connected Amen. with a lot of political leaders I'm talking about. Eh? Amen. Now, I don't know whether this is your number or a number that will call you, but I'm seeing 0785. First, don't. wait. I am yes. seeing uh, 14. That's my number. That's your phone number. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Now I say it. We're going to prophesy one by one by one by one. Eh? Okay. Do not listen. I see an attack that comes to you from those who you knew, like brethren. Eh? The Spirit of God says, Do not listen. I don't know whether you left the church. Yes, I did. Okay. Now, there are people who do not understand you. Eh? But the time has come. Glory to God. To exercise through you and upon you that which made him separate you. They don't get you, but the Spirit of God gets you. And he knows your number as well. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 0701. 407. Thank you, Jesus. Dancing Marvin. Thank you, Jesus. You know that your presence here testifies to the fact that your life has taken on a new level. Yeah. Glory to God. The glory that you are known about, the glory that you knew yourself about, you have just stepped right above it. Yeah. Glory to God. Now get ready for new experiences of another level. Glory to God. Glory to God. A shift has just happened. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. I read from verse 8. It says, Wherefore, he says, Jesus saying, He, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Glory to God. So now we see that there are certain men that possess certain gifts. <laughs> Glory to God. They're not up there. You see, there's a time when the apostles were at the gate uh, 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 called Beautiful, uh, Peter and the rest, and then they saw a man who was uh, begging uh, a beggar, and he was lame. And then they looked steadfastly at him and wanted him healed. So Peter looked down to him and told him, uh, you know, uh, silver and gold have I none, 
but such as God has you say such as I have I give unto you a lot of men a lot of the people out there stumble at the fact that uh, what God is doing on this earth right now he's doing through men it gets them stumbled Peter said look on us you know he told that man uh, the gate the beautiful gate says look on us silver and gold you know, he didn't say look up say look on us they say silver and gold have I none but such as I have he knew that you know <laughs> he knew that he had become he was one of those beneficiaries of these gifts okay he says wherefore he says when he ascended up on high he led captivity captive and gave gifts not to angels to men these are divine giftings now that he ascended what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth he that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens that he might feel all things verse 11 and he gave some now these are the gifts and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry for the edifying of the body of Christ verse 13 till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the son of God so you see where this is leading to the knowledge of the son of God now without seeing these giftings the knowledge of the son of God is obscured to you these giftings that have been given to men you may think you know him but you have a mental ascent of him and that does not bring you a lot of good so he says till we all come in the unity of the faith verse 13 and the knowledge of the son of God and to a perfect man a complete person not crippled here and there eh? not having certain areas of your life where you know you know I might have something here but here it's lacking my health may be well but somehow I don't feel peace somehow I'm always duped here and there you see eh? so you come to a place where you're wanting nothing lacking nothing perfect all over glory to God so he says unto a perfect man unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of the anointing of Jesus which is Christ so we see this Christ which is the ministry of Jesus and by ministry I mean what he came to execute on earth when God looked down on earth and then he saw uh, how it had been robbed of all its glory and it was mad by spiritual death he came with an anointing Christ the Savior in other words that was supposed to liberate this um, race that was uh, you know uh, far from the experience of the glory of God now the glory of God is everything that is lovely and perfect and complete in other words the glory of God is what you will experience in heaven so if it is translated on this earth it will be heaven on earth your life becomes heaven on earth the, that means that there is no there is no trace there's no trace of defeat and failure and anything that is disappointing. Everything is complete. And so what he did, he says, the anointing will accomplish it. Now, this anointing, which here he's referring to uh, what he's saying, we should come into the, the fullness of this Christ, the anointing, he says, um, 
he distributed or divided if you will or spread it into um, five expressions that he called gifts and we saw that one one expression of uh, this anointing of uh, which is the messiah uh, was exp uh, is expressed in the apostle then there's the prophet and then there's the uh, evangelist and then there's the pastor and then there's the teacher these are expressions of the anointing these are those expressions of, of that anointing now you will realize that jesus most of you know here that he's actually the christ now that means that he's the fullness of all that eh? he is the apostle he is the prophet he is the evangelist he is the teacher you get it eh? he is the pastor that is why when you read the scriptures you will find him say uh you know being referred to as uh you know in one portion as the good good shepherd i mean it's pastor another place you'll find him referred to as you know a rabbi you know teacher so you'll see expressions of him eh? then you'll find you know as a, you know a prophet actually and this i don't say without any bias eh? primarily he came as a prophet deuteronomy 18 18 says when he was speaking through moses the lord he says he would he said i send you a prophet <laughs> like unto yourself from among your brethren referring to christ so primarily he some of you will get angry but really that is it eh? he comes as a prophet as an expression of that you he didn't say behold i send you a rabbi which all is good eh? <laughs> now the day of the prophets anyway so <laughs> um so we see we see him actually when he has come jesus we see him manifesting uh, the prophet in so many uh, places in the scriptures in one place you see him meeting a man called uh, nathaniel whom, whom he, his dad called to meet him and he tells him exactly where he was and uh, you know you remember that uh, nathaniel is shocked now um in another place where he's expressing um himself christ the prophet you see him um testifying i mean uh, uh prophesying in matthew 24 you see him uh, uh when the disciples were showing him the, the temple that was great that they had just built jesus prophesies and tells him this temple that you see a time is coming he foretells says a time is coming like we're going to do here eh? says a time is coming when uh it says when this whole thing shall collapse without any trace now 70 years later you see the invasion by you know history tells us by the roman Emp Emp emperor nero and he crushes it down fulfilling that prophecy and several other places where you see him you know the world that we live in now much of the things that are happening are really prophecies that he gave eh? now then you see him again in another place in john chapter 4 meeting this lady you remember uh, uh at the well and uh then he began uh, uh prophesying to her so he tells her go and call me your husband and then her answer leads to you know you know <laughs> you know the first thing he meets her and then uh, you know asks her for water you remember and then she you know then he says if you if you know who it is who is asking you this you know you would rush you would ask him for living water what he called living water now i heard from a certain prophet who brought it out nicely he said when she says when she honestly desires for that living water he tells her uh the living water you want the living water he didn't start opening for her the law of moses and the scriptures he says go call your husband now the living water was prophetic revelation yeah. glory to god he started prophesying to her and no wonder she was alive and no wonder 
so many of our places that we call places of worship appear dead now you 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 may you know be you know but without the life of god in manifestation no matter what you do it looks like death no wonder this lady came alive after he gave her living water prophesying to her now so he begins telling her about her life and she's shocked and then she carries on and says you know go and she goes and tells the rest of the village telling them i have met come and see a prophet who has told me everything like we're about to do here eh? glory to god eh? in uganda there is the true spirit of prophecy between the world we see and the future ahead there is a door and when open the eternal becomes a reality now a portal has been created for you to enter into the unusual world of the man with an unprecedented record of fulfilled prophecies and experience his soul awakening prophecies i don't know who felix is that's my brother that's your brother yes. you are made to you are made for media i've eh? been trying to apply to media to get a job in the media do you have the point of contact here yes it is this one thank you james excellency of God produces things actually what happens is when he stretches you and takes you into uh, deeper things into greater things you reach a point where on the earth whatever he's doing for you and through you and in you exceeds what is already on the earth and now you become an inventor you become a creator Now what comes out of you is just unique stuff. Then you begin to take the world where the Spirit of God is taking you. Now that is why he says you will be the head and not the tail. Happening now at Zoe Grounds every Tuesday, 5.30 p.m. at 47 Chigolweza next to Akasha Lakeside Campus along the Entebbe Express Highway. <laughs> 